Hello Commanders and welcome in part 6 of the American Empire series and today we are going to start Operation Latino where we are going to start our expansion in the South American continent. Our cruisers they are ready on the Colombian coasts. Cuba have been entirely wiped in a matter of hours with a naval blockade on them and later on we started the land invasion with a significant number of national guards. Now I'm going to prepare my navies on the South American coast, starting with the northern uh, nation of it, which is uh, Colombia. This is uh, Brazil with a lot of army bases. Looks like Brazil is not going to make navies yet. He is going to focus on armored and air force. Of course, judging from his buildings. I have four multiple rocket launchers. They are ready in the city of San, of San Francisco. I'm going to send them to the front. Uh, now uh, all my armies they are ready in uh, Central America I'm gonna build the pontoon here to uh, make it easier for my uh, uh, armies to uh, get to the sea because uh, there isn't a nearby um, naval base or port and let's declare war on this naval radar which belongs to Colombia it was uh, a corvette it has been wiped in one single strike there is an air radar there, uh, north of the city of Barranquilla. I'm going to uh, send my cruisers there for uh, the anti-air to eliminate them. Now let's start the invasion and I'm going to send all of my land armies. Level 1 motorized infantry, level 2 national guards, level 1 uh, third artilleries and I'm going to wait for the level 1 multiple rocket launchers to arrive from the north. Let's send now those armies the, which uh, resides in uh, Cuba, of course, I let them stay in the concrete cities of Cuba to, um, uh, to, stabilize, to stabilize the morale from the rogue state, which is very important to keep land units in a newly concrete city, because we don't want it to turn rogue. So you gotta keep two, at least uh, one infantry or two national guards until the morale of that city reaches 34%. Let's send this cruiser now to the Pacific coast of uh, Colombia. I'm going to uh, must select my uh, national guards here and send them to the city of Barranquilla. I'm going to uh, make uh, a safe disembarking here with my cruisers. Of course, I'm going to bombard that city. Okay, let's look at the notification. We engaged a fighter wing. We engaged the fighter wing in Barranquilla. Uh, either than those uh, air radars there that are patrolling the city of Barranquilla there is some fighters uh, grounded on that city because it have uh, an air base and now the air base have been broken and looks like those fighters they are grounded yes he is he have also more and more fighters uh, patrolling the city there okay my uh, on tier have been activated now and it's only a matter of time until those fighters they will be down I'm going to approach my frigate. You know, the frigate have wider on the air range, so I'm going to uh, put it in the coast like that. I will navally and aerially blockade Colombia and isolate it from the ocean. This is the strength of navy. This is why I always recommend newly, uh, new players to play with navies, especially cruisers and frigates, because cruisers, they are going to give you naval superiority and uh, frigates, they are going to give you an aerial superiority. I started the level 2 mobile radar research and also the level 2 multiple rocket launches. I want to be ready for the expansion of South America. Because you know, South America, you need the combination of good navy and good land. Because there are a lot of jungles and a lot of inland cities and uh, inland nations such as Bolivia. So we will need strong air force and strong land army to complete an invasion on these nations because only navy is not going to be enough I'm going to annex the city of Tegucigalpa Tegucigalpa is a component city which is very important and also its position is very strategic in the central of the Central America more naval radars they are arriving my land armies they are disembarking in the city of Barranquilla we lost a frigate here ah that frigate that we sent to the coast of Colombia have been destroyed Colombia have more and more naval units here. Looks like uh, we are encountering a tough enemy here at the gates of South America. He engaged my cruiser, look at that. He inflicted, uh, well, he inflicted a lot of damage to my cruiser. 
Okay, I'm going to retreat and sand my dark horse here. My stack of level 3 cruisers, which have the range of 100, and so uh, I can wipe out those uh, Colombian ships from distance. I'm going to get back a bit my uh, fighters. Now I have, of course, two stacks of level 4 air superiority fighters. They are going to be useful lately, don't worry. Whenever the enemy is going to have strikers or helicopters or something, those fighters, they are going to be our lethal weapon there. I will wait now for my stack of cruisers to reach uh, the gates of uh, Panama Canal and I'm going to wipe out those Colombian ships. This is uh, the notifications. You can see there from the from the score that I am the first one. Saudi Arabia is the second and the third is Austria. Okay, okay, okay. The ranking is actually impressive seeing Austria the third one now in day 21. Well, the United States of America is still the first one. Here we are continuing to expand and gather more victory points and gather more lands. So uh, 100%, if we continue at the same pace like this, we are going to remain the first ones. We are going to have the strongest economy and also we are going to have the strongest army here. Okay, I give the command for my uh, navies to uh, attack those Colombian ships and the operation was successful as we destroyed the Colombian task force that have been composed of destroyers and corvettes. Okay, the Caribbean here, the Caribbean waters, they are cleared. Colombia is using artilleries to attack me from distance. He have a recon division there near the uh, borders of the city of Barranquilla. He did not enter the center of the city. He let his, uh, he let his uh, thought artilleries to attack me from distance, which is very smart, a smart move, not reckless. Uh, this gives an idea that uh, Colombia is a good player because he is using his units wisely here, but he cannot stand against the strength of the American army here. He does not have any chance because now I'm going to use my navies on him. I'm going to use my frigates and cruisers to attack his artilleries there. And of course, as soon as my multiple rocket launches, they are going to be ready in the lands of Colombia. I'm going to start shouting him from distance. He will have no chance here. You can clearly see in front of you the tremendous army that I am sending there. The significant number of service vessels that are surrounding the Colombian uh, shores. Despite in day 21 he have destroyers and corvettes which is respectful, which is good, good, uh, good composition of navy very early at the game for a public game, but he met with the strong navy, a level 3 cruisers, which is unbeatable in naval warfare, only if you have uh, attack submarines. And also your attack submarines needs to be high level and needs to be on high seas to be able to also stand a chance against cruisers. Let's check more the notifications and the news and see the Colombian casualties. You can see that he lost corvettes and destroyers. And now I'm going to uh, start using my air superiority fighters. Let's make them useful for now. Let's make them useful. There isn't uh, air targets here because we destroyed his air superiority fighters. So I'm going to use my air superiority fighters on land armies. Of course. Air superiority fighters they are not designed to be used on army targets but they have damage and we can use that damage for now at least we can kill that uh, third artillery it have no damage uh, on aircraft so we can kill it without receiving and without losing no hit points so here we are going to use all of the units at our disposal well Brazil have joined the party he is spying on us with a drone and he declared war on us well, Brazil is bold enough to declare war on the United States of America. Tell me guys in the comment section how we should punish Brazil for declaring war on us. Tell me what we should do in the next episode, boys. See you guys and see you in episode 7.